Sports coverage of the National Football League comes to you from Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, Michigan. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Detroit Lions. Evan McPherson has this one teed up, and we are underway from Ford Field. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he's going to be out of bounds across the 50. Great return. It's tough enough to play defense anyway, but after a return like that, now your mindset has to change a little bit. Instead of going out and just getting settled in the first few plays, you have to be prepared for just about anything. First and ten, and Swift. And a good burst there right from the start as they get this one out near the 35. That's a gain of 13 and a very solid opening play for this offense. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and ten. Back to throw, gone. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Goff now to throw. Quick throw, knocked away, and incomplete. A partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They're trying to find Chark, but it's intercepted. And the Bengals are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. Well, these defensive coaches, they sure like what they've got in this rookie corner. And with good reason, as you saw there. He only cost him a day two pick, and a lot of people thought he had first-round ability. But when he was available on draft night, that was one where you didn't need the full time to make the selection. You call that pick in early, and he shows why he was so coveted with that interception there. <laughs> And they'll start to drive here with an end around. I don't think anyone in the building fooled right there as that one is going to blow up in their faces. That's going to go down as a loss of nine on the first down play. He runs up the proverbial deer in the headlights. That's exactly what he was when he got the ball. Went to hit a lane and get upfield, and all he saw, extra defenders bearing down on him. Perfect time to dial up the blitz. An excellent call. Here we go, here we go. Throwing on second and long. Burrow. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. I think he had done there that one before he went into. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. For the Lions, an extra DB in the game now here on third down. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Now he's going to throw it deep to the other side of the field. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Amani Oluwoye. And the Lions are going to take possession of the football. He exited the pocket trying to improvise. That was a tough throw, and unfortunately, it wound up in the wrong pair of hands. And Brandon, when you're on the run, sometimes your downfield vision can get skewed just a bit. Now, the beauty of extending a play is sometimes your receivers find their way open, but oftentimes you end up closing down part of the field and bringing those defenders to the ball. And that one was picked off. Trey Hendrickson, the one who gets him on the ground. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Goff now looks to throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. 
When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because there should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Well, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Cheetah Bay Aluzie with a pick. And the Bengals are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20 yard line. Well, it doesn't take a whole lot of investigation to figure out why they're still sitting at zero on the scoreboard because their quarterback's got to wake up and start reading defense a heck of a lot better after throwing his second interception. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop it behind the line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. On second and 12. Burrow. His throw incomplete. As tight ends go, he might not provide the super flash. He plays very often, but he's pretty reliable. Usually an excellent target. And normally he catches what's thrown to him, but he did not know. On that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. The receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Burrow will throw. And the catch made. It's Tyler Boyd. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll be a third and about 13. An easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Two drives will tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get on track in this one. I'm wondering. Going for it on fourth. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. A surprising move to go for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And the Lions will get the football back in terrific field position. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Go off a handoff here to Swift. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. We're scoreless after one. Down and they go with Swift again. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. To throw is good. Rush coming and he's taken down. The Clemson product, DJ Reader, got in for the sack. Now that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go. The football led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. Man open, it's St. Brown, he's got it. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Here's Swift. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. On second and goal. Golf. 
A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. They will run it with Swift here. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. DeAndre Swift. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Lions post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Extra point by Badgley. Up and good. And it's now a 7 nothing game. This one away. Fields this way up at the 17. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30 yard line. Here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. As this offense gets ready here for this drive, Charles, you still wonder about that prior drive. Went for it on fourth down in their own territory, didn't get it, and then that led to a touchdown on the other side. And I don't mind the aggressiveness. In fact, I'm usually a huge fan of it, but that is why teams are always way risk and reward. To make too early in this game because the reward just wasn't big enough to go for it in case they failed. Just one for three thus far. This will be third and five. Now it's Burrow. Blitz coming and down he goes. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. Even keeping the back in for extra protection on third down, they still can prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. here turns over with a football already being in the red zone. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And brought down the man before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 48 yards now on the ground on just 7 carries. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. There's gone. Caught on the slant. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. DeAndre Swift with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Lions go up by two touchdowns. Goff looking to throw. And this will be caught. So the drive for two good. And it pushes him out to a 15 nothing lead. They line up and kick this one away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A 
minute left. More than enough time to string a few completions together. Rishi Enzo, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. something differently. So that'll leave Burrow and the Bengals with a third and long after that sack we just saw. A throw for Boyd, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Deshaun Elliott. And the Lions are going to take possession of the football. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. So first and 10 now from the 30. After the interception, here's Gall. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout. If they hurry, we'll see. Here's Gall. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. Jared Goff connecting with DJ Chark. And the Lions will extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. play of the half for Burrow and company. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Amadio Uroye. And he will be out of bounds with no time remaining on what will be the final action of this first half. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. The Bengals with work to do in this third quarter, but they'll get the football first as we are back underway. Taken at the 15, a short kick. drive about to get going and you have to think Charles down three scores already they need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance and that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here they need to be smart fast efficient get the ball to the end zone and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game well he's free going down the left side it's a foot race Cincinnati score. Joe Mixon, 62 yards. And the Bengals come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Zach Taylor's made the decision. They'll go for two here. And Burrow's going to look to throw for it. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending? You just make sure.
sure you never back up and you never retreat. You establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst. If they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. The Bengals drive about to get going. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown in the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. You just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. 76 yards for him on the ground. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. They suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Burrow looking to pass. And he's got Hurst, his tight end. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. They sure run with three tight ends here on first down. Mixon with a first down carry. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now it's Burrow. Wide open receiver complete. Touchdown. Hayden Hurst from 19 yards away. And the Bengals are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. So they get their tight end away from the line to the outside, and he works his way in for six. Tight ends are not just blockers anymore. I don't need more times we need examples, but here's a great one. Gets to the outside, they give him the ball pretty quickly, and they trust him to get those extra yards. And boy, did he come through pulling his way into the end zone after the nice catch. the touchdown McPherson on to kick this one away and a short kick taking it about the 16 and they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30 the Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive the third quarter has not been kind to them after they built that lead at intermission. They've seen that lead. Swift is hit, and he coughs it up. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. On the keeper, here's Goff. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Only a yard there on the keeper, but that's all he needed. First down. Okay, I'll admit it. I'm a little surprised by that call. Second and inches. It did what it was intended, but it felt like it was a free play waiting to happen. I thought they might take a shot. Goff on first down. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. They run out of the gun with Swift. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. They got five through the air last play. Now five on the ground. First and ten. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady game. On first down. Gone. Over the middle. Hauled in by Sharp. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. On second down, Swift. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. And here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. The open man is Shark. It's complete. 
And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals 16. A sizable 16-yard chunk there. The drive continues. First and 10 at the 16-yard line. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Swift going to try up the middle. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. DeAndre Swift, a 16-yard touchdown run. And the Lions are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Bengals drive about to get going. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind? And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by Amani Oruorie. And the Lions are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. And that gives him now three interceptions in the game. Well, someone's locked into what they're trying to get done in the passing game. When was the last time we had someone get three in a, in a contest? 2011, wasn't it, Kurt Coleman? Oh, yeah, that's then right. With the Eagles. That's right. Then against the, with the Eagles, and I believe it's against Washington and Rex Bills. That's correct. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. Now a first down throw, gone. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Well, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. Here's a handoff to Swift. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. 77 yards on the ground for him now as he's gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on his face. And I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now. And yet again, Goff is intercepted. Picked off by Mike Hilton. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for the Bengals TD. This game's still fairly well in hand, but I think now you, you go conservative, don't you? Go into your shell, just run the football. I think you have to, but you also have to tell your backs, make sure you're really protecting the football. And it's intercepted at the goal line. the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes 
through this because even the best of the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Not the there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. Here we go. Going to keep it on the sneak, and he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. Joe Burrow keeping it himself on the quarterback sneak, and the Bengals have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. They'll look to throw. This is caught. They got it. And that could be an important two points. It gets them back within a field goal. So they got their touchdown. Now down a field goal. Here comes the onside kick. And this one travels out of bounds. So unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. On the handoff, this is Swift. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Right back to Swift again on second down. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Once again, it's Swift. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Across the line and to the ball quickly there, Trey Hendrickson. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now gone. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. That's a staple of this offense, drag round to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. On third down, here comes Swift. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Now it's Swift. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. Score that tackle for loss to the Wyoming alumnus, Logan Wilson. So with your team leading in the fourth quarter, you know you've got to run the football. They know you've got to run the football. Sometimes that means there's nowhere to run the football. Goff going to throw it. And Sharp calls it in. And they are able to stop it, but he does take it all the way to the two. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Now it's gone. And this is caught. And then comes Seal and it's a touchdown. Just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, gotta give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy hit a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice, and then execute it in the game. Gone. And he will get into the end zone. So the lead stretches from nine up to away. One away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line. 
as he's dropped at the 23. The Bengals drive about to get going. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive. <laughs> they watch the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. It's caught inside the 25. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked off by Amani Oruwarie. And the Lions are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. I think you and I were a little surprised back early in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber? I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never, not in a million years. But here we go. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. Charles, uh, for this losing side, their heads are hanging as they walk off the field today. And really, I mean, we know why those three turnovers by that offense, that's ultimately what doomed them. And this is what coaches preach all the time to every team that we ever talk with. Taking care of the ball on offense, trying to take it away on defense. And let's face it, when you give it away three times in one game, you make it very difficult for your team to get the W.